So Charles Hoskinson has been talking about the scaling upgrades that are coming to Cardano. Lots to dig into. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start here. Cardano founder on scaling. Things could move fast. And I think this is really, really interesting. If we actually scroll down, you know, he's got a a, a post here on, on Twitter talking about the, the scaling solution programs. And he's basically saying that the community, if the community wants to, they can go in this direction. He'd advocate, be an advocate for continuing the parallel approach, given that they have the infrastructure and the talent to do it. And, and basically what he's saying here is they can go after everything because they've got the right infrastructure and they've got immense talent at the Cardano Foundation in order to basically do all these in parallel. And I think that that is fantastic to hear. I think Cardano should go down that parallel approach, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot to be said for you know the time that it takes cardano um to, to actually do the development aspect of things so for me it's good that they're able to you know i guess have the talent but also have the infrastructure to to have the approach of going after all of these all at once so look i think this is is really cool um you know again um there there is a real need for a scaling solution not just for cardano but for other chains as well. I've talked about this several times. In fact, I've, I've you know talked about near protocol. They need scaling. You know, you've got um, Aurora for for that. You know, Ethereum. Uh, we've been talking about the uh, pending, I guess, approval and implementation of the ETH ETF, the spot ETF that is, and um, the requirement for you know, investing in layer twos and so on. So there's there's an awful lot to take from this. And again, I, I just love the fact that Cardano are in a position to where they can, you know, have that parallel approach because it, it means that things can be done at a really good speed, uh, which is something that a lot of people have complained about when it comes to Cardano. So really love to, to see this. We got the Cardano creator, Charles, breaks silence on ADA price. And I think he's really just taken um, the piss, I guess. Um, you know, with some of these other memes of like 45 cent, 45 cent, 45 cent uh, with the Grim Reaper here. Um, I don't really like the lack of speculation uh, when it comes to, to the price. Uh, I don't like how Charles doesn't want to talk about price or you know is is negative about people talking about price when you know it, it is one of the reasons why investors get involved in you know the the ecosystems whether it's cardano whether it's ethereum whether it's bitcoin whatever it might be you know investors are here investing and uh, i think the you know the the negativity on price talk is is something that needs to change because Ultimately, um, you know, Charles is a billionaire and, um, you know, he's less concerned about money, whereas, you know, some people can't make ends meet uh, paycheck to paycheck and, um, you know, with the cost of living and everything. I think, you know, investors have a right to talk about price. Um, just, just my thoughts, my opinions. You can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Do you think that Charles has got the, that approach right or do you think that actually you're more aligned to to my way of thinking that, you know, it's only right that, you know, people discuss price. Really interested to get your views and opinions in the comments. And if you enjoy this content, hit the like button. So the total market cap of crypto, I'm just going to refresh this, just make sure we're fully up to date. There we go. Is at $2.56 trillion. We're up 0.57%. Bitcoin at $69,022 up. 0.76% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum has dropped 1.45% and is now at $3,762. Cardano back and ninth, uh, flipping Toncoin. Uh, it's up 1.91%, if I can get my words out. And guess what? It's at 45 cent, um, 86, um, the irony. Uh, look, I think um, you know, the market's in a really interesting position. I have been saying uh, for the last few videos that I am expecting a breakout shortly. Um, I think that it, it's something, again, is inevitable. I think that 
the market has been ranging for for a few weeks now and uh it's just a matter of time before we get you know a breakout um or a breakdown so i think it's gonna be a breakout time will tell um but i do think that it's inevitable now again stuff that we've been talking about a lot on this channel is i guess predictions it's talking about you know what we anticipate next so you know we've talked about the bitcoin spot etf you know before that was approved we were talking about the ethereum spot etf being inevitable with we already seeing the approvals taking place and we're just waiting for trading to go live on that um but i have also talked about you know rolling into altcoin spot etfs the likes of cardano xrp chainlink and solana have been projects that i have been calling out for some time and we're starting to see uh, the, the fact that um there's a lot of fresh inflows to funds for ethereum cardano xrp chainlink and solana it's almost like people are hearing what i'm saying and look it's not just me saying it now right which is probably why we're seeing you know uh, people you know, rolling into these altcoins um i do think that it's the next i guess spot of etf additions right i think these are going to be you know something that we see in the future um you can let me know your thoughts and opinions are you positioning yourself in any of these altcoins um i'm you know already positioned in in a lot of these uh increasing positions in a lot of these uh in the anticipation for what i believe is going to happen next do you agree with me though that's the question that i've got on my mind let me know in the comments below do you agree that we are going to see spot etfs for some of these altcoins uh, and if so which ones let me know in the comments um and subscribe so you don't miss any more of these videos uh, making sure that you tap that notification bell so we've got australia's first spot bitcoin etf um, again, is going to be really, really interesting to see this unfold. We're seeing more and more spot ETS for Bitcoin around the world go live. We've got this really interesting article talking about why Ethereum ETF day one inflows won't be like Bitcoin, according to Fireblocks MD. Um, what I would say is I agree with this. I don't think it's going to be um, as big as the the Bitcoin one. Why do I think this? Well, you know, Bitcoin was the first spot ETF. I think the fact that it was the first, you know, it was, I guess, new, in innovative um, in the respect that n nothing like this had happened before. And um, Ethereum's not got that. So, um, yeah, I think the inflows will be slightly lower than a lot of people are anticipating. But at the same time, you know, that money will start to flow in as more and more, I guess, uh, fund managers, um, business owners start to understand more about what Ethereum is. Uh, Plan B says post halving Bitcoin pump uh, approaching as historic bullish indicator turns green. So again, just talking about something that I've said that I think you know we're we're approaching imminent moves to the upside. Uh, and again, Plan B is kind of aligned to that. So yeah, like I I feel like uh, a lot of the stuff's being. Uh, yeah, it's been backing me up really with what I've been saying on the channel. Uh, we got Bitcoin to test $70,000 again this week. Uh, so again, just wanted to just talk about the fact that again, I think we're going to go above 70000 We're definitely going to be touching it again, according to lots of media sources. Uh, Bitcoin miners are sinking millions into AI businesses, seeking mi uh, billions in returns. Like Again, I just want to you know, highlight some of this stuff just so people are aware of where money, big money, smart money is going. And then we've got Bitcoin blockchain records $3.82 billion in NFT sales secures fourth largest spot. So look, um, the, the Bitcoin um, ecosystem is flourishing and uh, is a great sign for what we you know have for this bull run, this upcoming bull run that I don't think has really, really got started just yet. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.